So this is an excitable moment right now. Oh my goodness! We just crossed into New Hampshire. Would you look at that? So we got just look, at it. just look at it. So we got two states down. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're heading on into town right now. We already got our resupply back in Norwich. We're gonna head on in, grab some food, heading on into Hanover, grab some food, grab some beers maybe as well, and then it's back on the trail. Yeah, yeah, we definitely got some beers. But uh, two states left. Holy smokes. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> And of course, the two states left are the toughest states of all. Gotta love it. Go figure. Anyway, let's get on into town, grab some food. We'll see you guys further on down the trail. So how we doing, everybody? Your old pal Bob Ganoush here. It is Thursday, August 2nd. On to another week. Yesterday was a rainy, rainy day. Today, BEA beautiful day. So yesterday, we did quite a few miles uh, getting ourselves close to town, close to the road there. We we're uh, attempting to go to this bar and grill that's only like a quarter mile off trail and then pack it in for the night kind of thing, find a stale spot. But the bar and grill happened to be closed last night. So needless to say, we were a little bit disappointed. So unfortunately, had a ramen last night for dinner inside my tent. It was pouring rain all night as well. This morning though, totally different day. Totally different day. It's such a great day thus far. So this morning we woke up, still kind of raining a little bit, everything's soaking wet, I'm drying so much stuff off the back of my pack right now, it's ridiculous, I don't know if you can see, I don't have the angle, okay. But this morning we went into Warren, we were hoping to go to the grocery store there, but the grocery store shut down. Oh boy. <laughs> so we decided to go across the street, get some breakfast, and we ordered food to go. So we were packing out some food for tonight, we only have a day and a half to get ourselves into Lincoln. But today, we climb Mount Musilaki. This is a huge, huge climb. We're doing about 3,800 feet today. Uh, we got 12 and a half miles to go till that shelter after Musilaki. Uh, only about a mile and a half uh, before Lincoln. So that's what we're attempting to do. It's a little after 12:30 right now. We have a good, tough day in front of us. But it's been a great day. Got some coffee. Got some great food. A uh, place across the street as we were trying to hitch a ride. Uh, the owner came out and said that her husband would uh, help us out with a ride. And so she gave us some free ice cream and things as well. It's been a great morning. It's been an unbelievable morning. I can't believe it. And we're on to New Hampshire here, facing the toughest part of New Hampshire right in front of us. We're on the doorstep. We're on the doorstep of the Whites. Oh, man. Where else would I rather be? It's been an amazing journey thus far. We have about 400 miles left to go. Plenty of time to complete those 400 miles, but it's time to get on the way. We got a big mountain to climb, Mount Musilaki, heading over 4,000 feet today. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll see you guys further up the trail. Fording our first river, we're not even in Maine. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a real good one. So how we doing everybody, your old pal Baba Ganoush again. Oh, we're up on top of Mount Musilaki. Oh my goodness, 4,800 feet. Excuse me, 4,800 and doe feet. That's right. Oh man, it was a big climb today. Over 3,800 feet we had to go in just a few short miles as well. Oh boy, was it a doozy. But we get spectacular views like this one to pay it all off. Oh boy. We got the whites right in the background over there. Ooh-wee! They have all these rock formations all over the place, and that's because when weather rolls in, it gets pretty sketchy up here. So they use those things as big trail markers, essentially. Easier to see in the fog. And in fact, as you can see, we got some rain clouds coming in off in the distance. So we're trying to get down to shelter, which is in about, just about two miles or so. Woo! It's a little chilly up here, too. Ooh, it's definitely chillier up here. Windier, but absolutely beautiful. Oh man, tough climb, but legs feel good, legs feel strong. Certainly helped that we had some really good food in us this morning, uh, and also had a really good lunch, so that always pays dividends. And now I got chicken tenders for dinner tonight. That's freaking awesome. I don't, have to eat, I don't have to eat ramen. I don't have to eat a rice meal or instant mashed potatoes. I get actual chicken tenders with some barbecue sauce and some french fries to top it off. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. So in the meantime, we got to get going here. 
it's getting late it's just after 7 30 sundown is coming along real soon and we got some rain rolling in as well so we got to get to camp hopefully there's room in the shelter so we can just hop on in set our stuff up we'll only be about a mile and a half from uh the road to go into uh lincoln tomorrow oh my goodness we're gonna be in lincoln new hampshire tomorrow Hooey! i'll see you guys further up the trail good day long day for bleh. on the katana we go bob ganoush out Good morning, good morning, everybody. Your old pal Baba Ganoush here again. Oh boy, it's Wednesday, August 8th. We're on to another week. So yesterday was great. Uh, the day before, we got off of uh, Lafayette Mountain. Uh, we got just before Garfield Mountain to a beautiful campsite right near a great pond. Spectacular, spectacular evening. But lately, we've been getting into camp past dark, not getting to bed till 11, sometimes 12 o'clock at night. And so because of that, we've been starting a little bit later than we would like, and that's also what's been leading to the later nights. So yesterday was a little bit of a different day. Instead of doing some extra miles, pushing ourselves to like 14 or 14, 15 miles or so, um, we decided to cut it short right around 11, 11 and a half, finish with an earlier day, get back on a regular schedule, regular sleep schedule, so on and so forth. And today we uh, got up at a much better time. We left at a more regular time as well. And we got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful day. So today, we are heading towards Mount Washington. Now, Mount Washington, we're probably not going to hit Mount Washington tomorrow. Uh, it's only like 20 miles away, but we got to resupply first. And then we begin the enormous ascent towards Mount Washington. And doing 20 miles with that big climb, with the resupply, is probably just not going not gonna to happen. So we're going to get ourselves up the mountain a little bit today find a good stealth spot, maybe you go to the, one of the huts, who knows, we're going to see how the weather's going to play out, and then tomorrow we hit Mount Washington, I can't believe it, Mount Washington, that is a huge, huge milestone, 6,289 feet if I remember correctly, not the biggest mountain obviously, but still sizable for the east coast and what we've done here on the AT, the big thing is the weather, so... Every day they're saying there's like a 40 to 50% chance of showers later in the afternoon. So we're trying our best to time this correctly. Obviously going over Mount Washington, where it sits, if it's weather coming in, this is a place that you do not want to be. So we're keeping an eye on things. We're going to play it safe. You know, we got to continue forward whether it rains or not. So as this break right now, we're looking to finish on August 30th which will be just in time for my buddy's wedding. And then we'll just get a rental car, take a bus and just book it back down to New Jersey, just in time for the wedding kind of thing. Sorry, Gio, you're gonna have to deal with the beard. Too bad. I'll shower, I'll wear a suit, but the beard stays. And I got a haircut as well. I don't think you guys noticed. Does it look nice? Does it look nice? I got it in Lincoln. It's just been hot and humid. I wanted to get a haircut. Plus, I figured I wouldn't have enough time to get a haircut when I go back to New Jersey. So, uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> so, we got some miles to do to here today. It's seven and a half miles into town. We've been hiking for almost an hour already. <sighs> I feel good, baby. I feel good. We're getting close to Katahdin. Getting on the way. I'll see you guys further up the trail. How we doing, everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. Oh, boy. We're going up Mount Washington. There she blows right there. You can't even see her. We still got a ways to go. But look at this view. Look at that freaking view. Amazing. Last night we stayed at Lakes of the Clouds Hut. Uh, really cool. It was just super foggy, super windy yesterday. You had like 70 to 80 mile an hour wind gusts up here. And that was just at the Lakes of the Clouds Hut. That was not even up at the top of Mount Washington. So, of course, up top there you have even heavier winds than what we experienced. But today, we're crossing over Mount Washington. We're heading on into Gorham for a quick resupply. Probably going to spend the night as well just so we can do some laundry. All of our stuff is just completely soaked from the rain and 
all the mist and stuff that we've had the last couple days. So we need a little bit of a mental break, especially it's uh, the end of the whites, which means the terrain gets a little bit more, uh, a little bit more suitable for us doing some uh, some longer mile days again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mount Washington, here we come. We've still got a little ways to go. It's a little hard to breathe up here as well. With the elevation, the heavy wind. Woo oh man, I'll see you guys when I get up there. Hopefully the clouds pass, which will be a Christmas miracle on top of Mount Washington if they do pass. I'll see you guys further up there. Oh yeah. share oh my goodness today's a magical day it's Wednesday August 29th exactly five and a half months and today we summit Katahdin <sighs> man it's been an unbelievable journey an absolutely unbelievable journey um, it's really hard to put into words how I'm feeling right now <laughs> you know it certainly is a little bit bittersweet but, man, it's just very, very fulfilling. Very, very fulfilling. Now, I know I haven't really filmed a whole lot in the last few weeks. You know, we've been trying to get the miles done, trying to really push ourselves to get up here. We have a friend's wedding September 1st in just a few days. So we were doing our best to try to finish before then, and lo and behold, we're right on time. But, plus as well, I haven't really wanted to film just because, you know... I want to just kind of enjoy my experience a little bit more, kind of just hike, hike to hike, not have to worry about filming and doing all the editing and doing all that. I've been enjoying having my, uh, my DSLR route with me and taking some fantastic pictures, but in all honesty, I just haven't wanted to film. I haven't wanted to really be on video. I've just been kind of sitting within my own thoughts and things like that and kind of reflecting on these last few months and... That's been my that's been my attitude and my mood the last last few weeks, especially the last few days. And now today, in Baxter State Park, heading to Katahdin right now. Whew. It's uh, about 10 to 8 in the morning. We got started nice and early, right around 6:30. So we've already uh, put quite a few miles behind us as it is, trying to get up to uh, the one hut, the one campsite, nice and early because they do have uh, restricted times for which you're allowed to summit. Then uh, from there, we're going to drop some gear at the ranger station, register to summit Katahdin, and head on up, and that'll be all over from there. <sighs> Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. 2,190.2 miles through rain and snow and hail and lightning. We've had 15 degree nights. We've had 100 degree days. Man, it has been just a roller coaster of a through hike. And it's been a memorable one, spectacular one. My beard is looking great. This is five and a half months of not shaving it ever. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be weird taking this thing off, that's for sure. And then certainly, you know, returning to, uh, returning to my family in New Jersey. You know, I'll have to decide what I want to do from there. You know, I'm not going to talk about that too much right now. I'm, I'll do that in probably a post-hike video or something like that. But in the meantime, 
I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful, beautiful morning, this beautiful park, the beautiful scenery. Hopefully I see a moose, because I still have yet to see a moose, and it's kind of disappointing me. <laughs> but, man, <sighs> unbelievable. Coming to a close here today. Let me put you away, let me enjoy this morning. Enjoy my last, my last few miles and last few hours on the trail here. I'll see you guys further up the way. So there you have it everybody. We summit Katahdin. and yesterday was the day. It's over, unfortunately it's finally over. Thank you all so, so much for following along on this amazing adventure, amazing journey. It wouldn't have been the same without you. Stay tuned, I have some great stuff moving forward. It's only the beginning, folks. It's only the beginning. I'll see y'all further up the trail. For the last time on this crazy adventure, Baba Ganoush, out.